as always, I am thrilled to invite Francine Brokaw, our entertainment correspondent, and it is not spring without a new something from Disney. So Francine, what are we doing now? Well, hello there. Um, they have just reintroduced Pixar Fest at Disneyland Resort. Now they, they had Pixar Fest in 2018, let it go for some reason. It wasn't super popular, but now it's back. And I think it's going to be a really big deal because it runs the entire spring and it goes through August 4th. So all the guests that visit uh, the Disneyland Resort, whether it's downtown Disney, Disneyland, um, Disney California Adventure, they're going to be treated to a lot of Pixar characters, character themed uh, food, a lot of merchandise and um, just a lot of fun. Uh, they, they've really gone out. I, I visited it for the last two days as a press, um, the press screening event, screeners, I got to, got to preview everything and I was overwhelmed. It was great. So tell us more, like what was your day to day? What was the most fun? I, I know from the photos you shared, there's a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I probably sent uh, more sweets than than savory, but um, you know I, I love desserts. They have such amazing <laughs> desserts. Uh, the chefs there have really gone out of their way this time. And when I was speaking with one of the head the head chef uh, culinary director, he said that they went um, to the extreme to look at the shows and create food, savory or sweet, that corresponds to either the theme or the color scheme or something to do with the films. And- I think that's so, that's so amazing that- it, 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 They are so darn creative. It's, it, yeah. it is really cool. I mean, I mean, look at the, the, the stories they had to, to pull from a Toy Story. Was, Pixar started in 95, a Toy Story. Oh my gosh, you know, can't believe it's been that long. Bugs Life, Monsters, Nemo, Incredibles, Cars, uh, Ratatouille, Wally, -E, Up, um, Brave, Monsters, uh, Inside Out, Good Dinosaur, Finding Dory. There'll be all these characters. Luca, um, they're all represented. And what's interesting is every one of these stories, of these films, are represented in the nighttime spectacular called Together Forever, a Pixar nighttime spectacular. And that's that's what they have in Disneyland. You can watch it in front of the castle, in front of um, the small world facade. They have projections and on Main Street USA, they have projections and uh, every one of the films and their characters are included in this new nighttime spectacular. Plus, you know, so much heart went into it and music. So it, it's pretty cool to watch. It sounds like you had a lot of fun. And I did. I know, I know you deserted, you ate dessert all the way through. So I always, <laughs> but I also want to understand this is something that is really just a, a complete historical view of Pixar, everything they've ever done which is, as you say, so much. So what did you love most? Where should people start? I absolutely loved the Better Together a Pixar Pals uh, celebration, it's called. It's, it's a parade through um, Disney California Adventure. It has floats featuring so many of the, of the characters, especially some of the new ones like Luca and the Red Panda, and uh, let's see, there's up, there's, oh my gosh, when little, that little, they have a little um, Kevin, you know, the big bird from up and Russell, the little um, scout, he's riding on this big Kevin down the street. It is the most adorable thing. I mean, I, I can't, I think I waste, I didn't waste, but I took so many pictures of this little guy. It was so cute. And of course they have Doug, the talking dog talking at the end they have uh, they're represented by most not most but a big chunk of the um the listings of the pixar films are included in this along with a really really catchy song 
that winds its way throughout while incorporating some of the um, theme songs from, from the shows. So it, it's, they're clever too. I mean, it's just how, how they do that. I, I wish I had a portion of their uh, creativity to do all these things, but the, the whole um, Pixar Fist immerses everybody in the lands of Pixar. In, in the stories themselves. And I think everybody has a special Pixar movie that talks to them or a character. I mean, we've got joy and sadness. <laughs> they're, they're kind of cool to have together. And besides, okay, they also have this club Pixar in downtown, in Disney California Adventure. And it's, it's touted as a family zone in the evenings and um, and late afternoon and nighttime. It, it's a place where families can go, just hang out, dance a little. It's, it's just an interactive experience. And then over in Disneyland, they have, um, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Uh, Pixar Pals um, Playtime Party. That's over at the Fantasyland Theater. And that's when a lot of the characters come out, they dance, everybody can dance with them. It's, it's just, a, it's a cool party. I think it's not just for kids. I, the entire family can enjoy it because we all have our special friends from Disney, whether it be Sully or like, Joy or Sadness. You should, see, you should see Sadness dancing because she's so sad. <laughs> she's trying to dance, but she's still sad. But it, well. it, so cute. I mean, the, I could say the cuteness factor of this entire fest has been risen to the X factor. I mean, it's just amazing. And uh, I liked it. I really did. Um, some of the food, not so much, but I'm very picky, very picky eater. But they do have food for everybody. I think they made 80 new recipes for the festival. That's unbelievable. And as you pointed out, and that was going to be my next question, but it sounds like this is for all the family for sure. And as you say, Pixar has been around for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And so we've all grown up with them. We've all grown up with their movies and up. I mean, I, I don't want to tell you how many dogs in my neighborhood are named Doug. Yes. As everybody's waiting for them to speak <laughs> and they're incredibly adorable. So I think and, you everyone know, has their favorites. A lot of people have painted their houses like up or their mailboxes like that. But this is one, like I said, Disney is really good with merchandising. That's one of their big things. This is going to be a big winner this year. It lights up. Oops. It lights yeah, up. It's hard to see with the background. Okay, here we go. There you go. There you go. Okay. It lights up. It uh, has this little alien guy driving it so he's <laughs> he's here so i mean it, it, it's a fun little um corn bucket however a lot of people use them for like um yeah, it's hard to do a lot of cookie jars and things like that so it's mm -hmm. it's but it, it this is going to be one of the collector's items i believe from pixar fest very nice pizza planet of course, the pizza pizza, planet. personal pizza, pizza delivery. Yes, yes. They... So Francine, tell us again, it's open now or when is it opening? It opens the um, August 26th. So yes, and it goes through May, excuse me, August. It, it, it opens April 26th and goes through August 4th and beginning May 10th, they're going to have um, little marketplaces uh, in Disney California Adventure with specially themed food. So that's going to be additional. That's part of the 80 new foods that they created for this, but they're going to add specific marketplaces. And unlike food and wine and the other festivals, then we had the sip and savor pass, you know, that you got to click off and, and just exchange for a, for a item. They don't have a sip and savor pass for Pixar Best, but okay, it's fine. that's all right. It sounds like a perfect Mother's Day outing for all. And 
birthday. So I'm a June baby. Anybody wants to take me to Disney for my birthday, I'm in. Uh, <laughs> Come down here. I'll take you. I'll take you. Okay. Okay. I'll be there. Francine, thank you so much for sharing. We always love to hear what's going on at Disney and they are a big part of our lives in Southern California. And we really appreciate you bringing it to us every time. We'll look forward to seeing you again. What else do we need to know? I do have one more thing on History Channel. Check out the series of six parts, I believe, How Disney Built America. And there is one section, one episode dealing with entirely on how he conceived and finally got Disneyland created, which was a task unto itself. And how he, how Walt um, changed animation forever, made it its own genre. It, the History Channel has, a, it's, their, their episodes, I just, I couldn't believe what he went through to get to where we are today. It's amazing. Wow. Absolutely. I'll I definitely have to check that out. Thank you so much again. We'll see you next time. Yes. Bye-bye. We'll, we'll be right back.